Morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, what is for me the first shoot of 2017, and uh, we're starting with an oddball. Uh, this is Cullen. How's Welcome, sir. All the way from Chicago, Illinois, yep. and uh, you actually shipped the car out here. Yep. How old are you, bud? 19. 19 years old. And uh, the Saab Vigan, interesting car, uh, the 9.3. This is a, a GM era Saab, and uh, they were really doing that born from jets thing. Yeah. And so yeah. the Vigan was the, the performance version version of the 9.3. It's a cool name, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. It's a, it's like, I like, I, the idea of the Vigan, to me, is really yeah. neat. Yeah. So tell me the story of your sub. Oh, uh, well, I bought it senior year of high school. Okay. And uh, have just been slowly building it ever since. Um, bolt-on mods, you know, tune, stuff like that. Yeah, so and, you've uh, got a tune on it, some right. aftermarket wheels, I saw right. some BFGs. What else is on Exhausts, this thing? Exhausts, uh, full three-inch all the way back. Okay. Um, T5 cams from a different year Saab. Okay. Uh, changed the torque profile a little bit higher up. Um, we got an intake, uh, fuel pressure regulator increase. Uh, wow. Three-inch turbo back. Cool. Let's see how it, let's see how it does on the road, huh? Mentioned, uh, you know, you're from Chicago, not not so much tuned for elevation, right? Exactly. And uh, didn't really anticipate the uh, the elevation here, but that's okay. So it may be happy, it may be unhappy, but right. we're gonna we're gonna learn. For sure. Um, I just I want to love Sobs so bad. I did a whole thing for Drive yeah. on Sobs, and like. I get why people love them, even the GM era ones like this one, because they are, they just, they just feel a little different. But the stock Vigan I drove, well, what year is this, 02, 01, yeah. So 16 years later, the stock car just didn't feel very fast. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, I mean, the big downfall, obviously, is front wheel drive. Uh, yeah. Oh. Not, yeah, it might rub a little bit. Threw, uh, we threw new tires on before I came out here. You know, 
know, for a Saab, it does have a, a pretty heavy feeling clutch. You know, I'm not used yeah, to yeah, a, uh, a front wheel drive car with a clutch that heavy, but it's okay. It's not. It's not like it's like brutal. Right. Yeah. I I, I felt a lot worse. Yeah, I like. Does this have the blackout mode of the gauges? Yeah. That was one of my favorite Night Saab panel. features. Yeah. yeah. You press night panel and it makes all the gauges go black except for the speedometer so your eyes don't get uh, too strained at right, night. That's right, cool. Yeah. I, like, I always thought Thaddeus, my cameraman, has very sensitive night eyes and he was like, why doesn't every car do this? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It makes, just... it makes good power. These come with LSD. No nope. limited slip. Okay. We're still on open diff here. Are so, we? Uh, yeah. That's, that's definitely not a downfall of it. Um, Possible to you get you can't you can't get a limit slip diff. Um, Wave makes one. Do they? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's worth it at this point. What I mean? Yeah, it, it's it's pretty freaking expensive. It's uh, gotta be last time a I couple grand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I would yeah. do it at this point. Yeah. So this thing has 141k on it. Medium high, we'll call that. Yeah. How's it held up? Is it a pain in the ass or is it good for you? Or <gasps> well, I bought it at 100,000, so okay. I already put a good amount of miles on it. And, uh, other than the engine blowing, you blew his motor. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that, I mean, that was definitely more uh, on me rather than on the car. Okay. Uh, you know, start pushing power into it without doing any built internals. Or anything. Ah, yeah. Um, well, that'll do it. At least you didn't blow it by driving like an idiot. Not like well, you money shit. Yeah, I know. It was. Uh, it was just downfall of the internals. And uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad. At least I didn't throw a rod or anything. I just uh, blew, the, blew a compression ring. Oh, well, squirrel! Ooh. It lived! It lived! It made it! I didn't want to swerve, but it made it. Yeah, so after the rebuild, now we're on uh, force pistons. So. Ah, so now you're happy. Everything okay? Right, yeah. Everything good? Everything's going good other than that. Okay. So. But everything else, like, you know, your accessories and stuff. I noticed you're, you were out a couple LEDs here. Yeah, that's... Or LCDs, pretty, I should yeah, say. Yeah, that's usually pretty typical in these cars as yeah. well. Yeah. And then you have, is this an iPad? Yeah. You have an iPad stereo. Yeah, it changed out the uh, CD player for an iPad. That's pretty cool. Is that a, is that like a pretty easy plug and play thing? Uh, well, you know, I I was the for, I didn't ever even knew it was gonna be even a thing until I just decided to. Uh, Did I you wanted, just I wanted do get, it? Yeah, I wanted to get I wanted to get an aux cord at first and. All the kits were like 150 bucks for this car, so so you just did it yourself. Not, threw an I iPad mean, hey, through a little amp behind it. That's it, huh? Perfectly. And it yeah. comes out the speakers. Oh yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, definitely. Wow, how cool. Well, look, man. Like I, you know, I don't know if, like, you, you know, if you want a sob. Right. You know yep. what I mean? What oh, I say exactly. isn't going to make you want a sob or talk somebody out of a sob. You know, right. these things are still really neat. They're right. neat cars. Um, you know, they, they've aged and, and time has marched on, and so they're not the fastest thing on the block anymore. Right, right. But but they're fun and they're comfortable, and it's not a BMW or a Mercedes, nope. but it feels European and it's nice. And yeah, I like it just because it's unique, you know? It's nothing you will see anywhere else on the road. Oh, and it sounds cool. Yeah. And it's called oh, a Viggin. Yeah. A Viggin. That's a oh, yeah. Viggin. Yep. Thanks, Colin. I yeah. appreciate it, man. Not and problem. Uh, not a problem. Check out, if you're into sobs, uh, check out Colin's Wheel Well and uh, see his list of modifications yep. there if you want the specifics on this bad boy. Check out my wheel well. You want to see what I've been doing in my own garage. Uh, I finally got the Mustang back again. It seems like I say that every week. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for coming all the way from Chicago. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.